Hi guys, just want to take an opportunity today to go through and talk to you about a product called, or utility actually, called Project Documenter. Now, it's been around in Factor Talk USE for a number of years, number of versions. Uh, a lot of people don't realize it's there or they don't use it. And what I want to do is show you how it can make your life easier to maintain and develop applications. So I've got a screen here and I'm running version 11 but I've got four objects on this screen actually group objects uh, PT001, PT002, and PT003 and PT004. Each one of those group objects has a uh, numeric field and then a string field and in a previous video I showed you how you can name those and uh, be able to just double click on them and open them up uh, that particular object within that group of objects but once you do that let's say you've got an application that's built around that naming your objects and you've got to go back in and find where those objects are used on a particular screen how can you easily do that so I've already gone in and ran Project Documenter on this particular uh, set of screens. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute, but first of all, I just want to show you what it does. So when I ran Project Documenter, it, I told it I wanted it to document every one of these screens in my application. And when it does that, what it actually does is it pulls everything that's associated with that screen and as you can see there's my object into a report now once I run this I can actually save this report and it's or an export this report and it exports it as an as an HTML file but I can also do something that says print and we'll get into the details of that in a minute but just let you know that's what I did and when I did that it created for me a uh, PDF document. So if I open up this PDF document, and I go through and let's say I'm searching for uh, the numeric field for PT004. I can just do a file. Uh, actually it's underneath edit, find, and now I'm just going to type in V because I know, see, I'm, at this point I know the name of the object but I don't know where it's used. So I can do V underscore PT004 and tell it next. And it's going to scan this PDF document looking for where that is within this report. There it is. PT004. It just so happens this is the only screen I've got it defined on. But now I know where it's used. And if I scroll back up just a little bit, I can actually see the name of the graphical file that it's used in. Not only that, but this report also shows me what it looks like, what that whole entire screen looks like. So that allows me now to know exactly which screen within my application contains that particular object. So now what can I do with that information? Well, I can open up Studio and go to that screen and open up Object Explorer and just go right into, because I know it's there based off that report, double click on it and now I've got the ability to go in and make modifications to that object. So that's the power of Project Documenter. Our next step is to show you, go through the actual process of creating that report. So let's do that now. So how do I actually create that report? Starters, where is the Project Documenter located? Let me close these down um, so we can start from scratch. So if you click on, and I'm using, um, this is actually running a, on a 2016 server. So depending on which version of Windows you're using, you 
bring up the, the list of programs loaded on your computer. Go to Rockwell Software. Underneath there you'll see something called Application Documenter. If you click on Application Documenter, it will open it up. At this point, you got to choose the application that you're going to document. So I know mine's a distributed application. I also know that's the name of my application. And while it's doing this, I'm going to actually show you the HTML format, and then I'm actually going to show you the creating a PDF document, which is what we use to do the search with. Now, as you can see, I can document this entire application, which would allow me to find virtually anything in the project. But I'm going to focus on just, just for uh, expediency of the process of, of creating this report. I'm just going to tell it to do, do the displays. So at this point, I'm telling it, hey, I want you to do all the displays. Now, if I wanted this as a uh, HTML document, I could do File export and you notice it comes up and says hey I want to create a uh, HTML document and I'm gonna say yeah sure go ahead I'm just gonna replace the one that's already there and as you can see it's going through the process of of creating that HTML document so let's give that a second and let it uh, complete that and then we'll take a look at that uh, document and see what it looks like so we're about complete there is our web page and we can scroll down and again if I would have told it to create everything on the report it would have done that and we can see all the different um, web pages or all the different displays in the application click on that one we've been working on gives me a look of it gives me all the, um, the different configurations as far as the display goes it tells me all the objects on the display, where they're located, so it's a pretty detailed report. It's essentially the same report we're going to get out in a PDF document. However, this one's not easily searchable to be able to find things like we did earlier. At least I, I prefer the PDF document. So that's how you create it in HTML format. But if we wanted it in a PDF document, I would just say File, Print, and it's going to go through a process again that we've seen earlier, preparing it to print. So we'll let that complete, and then we will uh, finish up creating the PDF document. So about to finish up here, and it asks me now, what do you want to save as a PDF? Well, yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to save as a PDF, so I'm going to say OK. And it's generating that has a PDF. It's going to come up and ask me, well, where do you want me to save this output files a PDF format? You can see that I'm just going to replace the one I previously created, so you just name it whatever you wanted to name it. Say save, place it, yep. Now it's generating it has a PDF format. Now once it's in that PDF format, it is now, we're back to the part that I showed you earlier. I got my PDF document and now I can search that PDF document to find objects on that screen. And again, this isn't just restricted to displays. It, can have, it could have easily have done any uh, component within the application. So we'll take a quick look at that again. So just open up documents. There's the document I created. And of course you can see there it is. So hopefully this shows you the power of using Project Documenter, how you can use it to uh, improve your ability to maintain the applications, find objects without maybe having to uh, just go off memory where things are. So very, very good uh, utility. Highly encourage using it. Uh, so I, again, I thank you for your time and you know, guys, hopefully this will allow you to be more effective in uh, your maintaining your SE applications.